This morning we have a problem. We have this. last city of Croatia and we are staying a couple of days and in a nice marina at the end of this fjord very protected and very very nice it will be a little bit far from the city the center of the city but it will be very protected from the wind and the waves that are uh, predicted for uh, tomorrow and the day after so let's see made it to the Achi Marina in uh, Dubrovnik. It's a tight, tight, tight fit to get in the marina. But we are now going to retrieve our uh, rain marine water maker. Yeah, finally. That will... Shower. <laughs> not only shower, <laughs> but we are never going to enter a marina again. <laughs> Because, because the only reason for us to go to a marina was to um, to do water, to fill the, the to refill the tanks. Now that we have a water maker, what? never gonna enter a marina again. What's Look that? that? Yeah, they have beautiful boats in this marina. We saw a my personal prefer a Amel 50, a 50 foot Amel uh, sailboat which is, for me, the best boat in the world. Um, and we saw another Amel, a Santorini, an, an old one, beautiful. And then that one, and they're huge luxury jets. But yeah, now we are going to retrieve it. And then we are going to install it. We're gonna stay here tomorrow for the bad weather. And then move, move along to Montenegro, if we can enter with the cat, because apparently, they don't like cats. Yeah, actually one is big and, and the other one, yeah, should be big. Alexei. No, no, no th th this is Leia. No, no, nothing. <clears throat> because who told you that the package is uh, can? I will just tell you, I, I sent an email yesterday. Uh, and I got the packages them. can arrive here uh, because it's not allowed. Man's privilege. Yeah, man's privilege. <laughs> uh, we have a water maker. Yeah. We have a water maker. Let's go. That way. We received the water maker, but the the flap for the outboard, we did. 
I need to see, I need to call Marco huh? to see if he has a tracking number or something. This is gonna make our life so much easier. <laughs> After I drag it. <laughs> the boat. Not right now. Not right now. But after I drag it through the boat, it will make her life really easy. The dream of a sailor. Exactly. <laughs> nice swimming in the morning. <laughs> and heavy, heavy lifting, heavy lifting yeah. on the afternoon. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of background about the water maker and the shoes that we, we opted for. We have been talking about getting a water maker for at least three years um, before the goat, so we, we are talking the seed. Um, the problem with the, with the water maker that we had it is two things, uh, maybe more than that. The first one is fitting. Uh, on the seat, it was a 34 uh, foot uh, boat and the problem that we had there is that the all of the water makers that we found found were too big so we will be using at least one entire locker uh, storage room for the water maker itself either under the under the seats or under the um, under the the, the 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 bedroom under the bed on the bedroom on on the cabin so we abandoned the idea of a water maker on the seat because of the space then we bought the the goat this year and when we were uh, refitting it we started looking into a water maker again um a lot of people will tell you that the water maker is a luxury which can maybe can but it's not if you are living on your sailboat like we do you want to take a shower every day you want to be comfortable for as much as possible because otherwise this life will get all really fast so the water maker is the ability of two things one be comfortable uh, second be have a, a, some kind of um, security because even one cup of salt water will contaminate your entire tank water supply so if you are crossing uh, an ocean or you are in a remote island and for any reason and it happens more than what you think your water supply gets uh, contaminated you will have problems it will be a, a real problem so and I know you can you know uh, collect green water and all of that but it's is not the same right so that's 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 one thing the other thing is that having a water maker means reducing the amount of time that you need to go to a marina we calculated with the Sith that um, we had to do water every month at least once a month and that means taking a shower like one shower a week and and not using water for pretty much anything outside of dishes clothes and head uh, face and teeth so which is pretty uncomfortable as you can imagine so we decided we are going to take a water maker okay knowing that we want a water maker which water maker to buy there are a lot of brands out there um we are not sponsored in any way so uh, this is our simple uh, choice what we decided to, to buy and and the reasons why there are a lot of water makers but that we found that are portable it's only one and that's why we went with Rainman Rainman is a water maker I think they are done in New Zealand and they are they have um, the ones that you can install they have um, 220 volts powered they have 12 volts powered and they have petrol powered portable I believe all of those solutions are great for us the way we want to use it and for ease installation we went with the with the um, uh, mobile one 
main reasons for that choice was first, I don't want to do another hole on the on the hole on the hole. <laughs> um, Bavaria's boat already have too much, too much through holes, too much in my opinion. So I don't want to add another one. I don't want to uh, drive uh, cable, you know, really, really uh, big cables from the batteries to the water maker and 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 having to do all that electronics again third i want to be able to without driving any new pipes water pipes to fill the front tank and the back tank so at the end of the day rainman the mobile one 220 because we can operate it from our um inverter um, we have a multi plus uh, 3 kilowatt multi plus and we can operate it from that one this is the best choice and we can storage pretty much using the same space that we would use if we would install it the, the, the system so yeah that's the reason why we went with, with Rainman uh, we we saw a lot of reviews <laughs> and everyone's talking really well about these guys and, and the quality of the product. So I have huge hopes for it. Let me show you guys this. Here are the membranes. You open there and you open there. <coughs> Look at that, <coughs> beautiful. Here are the membranes. I imagine one of these goes, I will, I will not do this without reading the, the instructions for one in my life, because this is, I don't want this to broke in any way. It's a beautiful piece of technology and I need it. So, but my impression is that one needs to go to the water to the pump and the other one somehow is going inside the tanks okay so we got filters for the pre filter we got mold filters for the pre filter we have Ha, nice. We have like a carrying pack. Yes. Ah, we have a carrying pack with a really useful bag. These are always useful on a boat. Raymarine ca cap. This is for unscrew the pre-filter. Then what it looks like keep your beer cold kind of thingy. And this is for the pre-filter. And again, more parts, spare parts and stuff like that. Okay, this is what I was searching for, instructions. So, let me put this all back here. Come with me, See, look, look at this from, from close. This is the big ass high pressure water pump, the pre-filter. The water pump itself and what I believe to be the fitting for the um, membranes. I believe the membranes goes here. Let's play, let's play in the game. Let's try to assume what is what and then read the instructions in. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the pump and this is the fitting. So this is what, this is what goes on the water. Uh, and takes water from the sea that's what it is it's pretty nice really 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 nice 
okay the bad thing is that we are not gonna of course test this inside the marina because everyone is going number one and number two in this water so it's gonna take us at least four days to test it we are gonna test it outside here there was a really clean um, harbor there without where we can test this but I can wait man I can wait to create my own water to see if we can outsmart the chain <laughs> the chain of the of the boat but I need to explain you why so here is the chain compartment of the Bavaria 44 and by the way for what I know this problem is common to all Bavarias and apparently also Benetos so here's the locker chain right what's the problem the problem is that the chain goes down this way and it starts accumulating like a I don't want to say what like what but like this inside it will not sleep and use the rest of the locker it will accumulate and at that point it will uh, come off the um, the winch itself and create problems so what you need to do is manually jank it off back and forward so you distribute the the chain inside my idea is that because here's what it is right it's using only this part of the space this directly under it underneath and all of the front space she doesn't use it so my idea is to somehow move the the place where it goes down move it 30 40 centimeters in the front so that it will go down in front and i think i saw something that can help me and i think it's a it's something that can be a good idea So here's the final result. It can be done better, but important for me is that it's working, at least as a prototype. So. Anchor down, and... working and this morning we have a problem we have this on the propeller of the engine so right now Max is trying to free everything <coughs> Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da do da. Hope I get away with it. Oh do do da. -da. Yeah. 
Good morning. 4,500 of you. So, to explain what happened, we have a buoy that uh, signals where our anchor is. So when we anchor um, in busy bays, like there are all of the bays here in the Mediterranean, um, everyone knows where our anchor is, so at least they can avoid to drop anchor on top of our anchor. The problem is that the buoy that we have, it looked really good in theory. It has a auto retractile um, cord that will make things easier but in reality what happened is that the um, when you drop the anchor and you go back and you you know you leave all of your of your chain on the on the bottom of the sea if there is not enough wind to drag you but enough wind to move your boat the boat will pivot over the the first point where the when the chain touched the ground instead of the anchor itself so what happened is that when that happens um, the back of the boat will be exactly on top of the boat so in this case normally it's just annoying because you will hear it knocking on on the hole during during nights and stuff like that but in this case what happened is that and don't ask me how it did it the cord from the bowie went under the router inside the propeller and all hell broke loose so we were able to to cut it out to cut it out and cut it free but <laughs> it took a couple of hours and that's why I want to buy a respirator that is this really nice thing. I don't remember the name of the company. That it's like blue something, which is really cool. It's like something that you leave uh, uh, on your side and you can breathe and it will send you uh, air, but it's not a bottle of air. It actually is a, it's a compressor and it's really nice for this kind of, of jobs. But the blonde who doesn't want to spend any money is willing to let me die drowning under the boat to not let me buy that thing. Where are we? Dubrovnik. <laughs> and that's all. That's all I know. <laughs> that's all. We are in Dubrovnik. <sighs> we are... <laughs> we have to find some information. <laughs> we are surrounded by people. I hate being surrounded by people. <laughs>